Well, good afternoon again from Ed's Orchids, and instead of looking at paths and frags today, just for a change, I thought I'd look at the angry acorns. One of the most important things about uh, angry acorns and their like is that uh, they like plenty of light coming from tropical regions, you know, Madagascar, Africa, places like that. Uh, some like bright light, some like shade, and uh, like the Oranges are, are shaded, uh, but they like more light than the Oranthus. So uh, they do differ, so if you get them, just check up on them to make sure you've got the ones, the right ones. I mean, the colour of the leaves shows you which, uh, which are which. The one with dark leaves generally like a little bit of shade, and going to the lighter leaves that like more light. In mature, in mature specimens, if they're showing dark green leaves, they like shade. But uh, if you get small plants, especially greenhouse grown ones, they do not show their uh, differences in colour until they, uh, until they get larger, larger. And this type of plant likes strong air movement. You know, they come from all different regions to shore level up into the mountains and, uh, and they do benefit from strong air movement. A strong air movement is uh, particularly essential in the warm summer months, you know, to keep the leaves cool. Because, uh, as everyone knows, if leaves of orchids get too hot, uh, they, they just stop growing. Uh, high humidity is essential uh, to stop the air becoming stagnant and uh, if there are significant uh, temperature changes the air movement is so beneficial if you don't have the air movement then it can lead to all sorts of uh, bacteria and fungi also uh, angracums have two different types of roots they have the aerial roots and the strong roots which uh, fasten them to the ground and I'll see if I can show you them. The strong roots co generally come from the reel at the base here and they're like cast iron and they're rooting the plant right down. Further you go up there's some more roots down to the ground and then the others are, uh, are aerial plants which are necessary to pick up the moisture to uh, keep the plant hydrated. Now these are quite dry these, so I think I'll just give them a spray. We'll just give them a spray with this tepid water and all the uh, roots should start going uh, green. Or in this case, very dark. I've had this plant a few years now, it's a crestwood uh, and uh, you can tell how long I've had it, it's, I got it when it was quite small and I just count the places where it's flowered, one, two, three, four, five, six, so I must have had it, uh, ooh, I've had it 12 years this one. So, uh, and here's a little cake is at the bottom growing. I'm a bit loath to cut that off, which I could do, because uh, I'd like that to flower at the same time as the, uh, as the tall one. That's Angraecum Crestwood. This is Angraecum sesquipedale, which I've had for many years. I find this uh, slow growing, uh, a lot slower than the uh, hybrids. And uh, as you can see, once again, they've got these strong roots, which is anchoring them to the floor, to the compost. Then they get one or two uh, aerial roots there. Another tip I can give you, which I think I've given you before, if you start seeing the yellowish here, or here, but it's a sign they might be getting a uh, mealybug. Now there's none there. And there's a little bit of mealybug in there, so that means I'll uh, I'll need to treat it. But 
check those quite uh, regularly for that to, if you see the different colour just check for a bug on them Angraecum sesquipedale now if you're potting these up uh, make sure you don't disturb the roots they hate being disturbed this is originally in a very very small pot that's uh, been placed in another pot because if you disturb the roots you can stop them flowering for over oh, four or five years so uh, be careful with that compost any bark will do they're not particularly fussy any you know three quarters bark and a quarter of anything else you'd care to put in and that will suit them fine here's a renanthra which is the uh, same ilk as the uh, angraecums and uh, I've had this for uh, ooh, seven, eight years at least and uh, flowers quite regularly you see, flowered from here 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 and it's just coming up with a new spike there so that should be nice by June I should imagine it's another one that uh, the roots won't spray in so I'll just do those see them going nice and green now I've always find that Renanthra grow very very well if you put them outside in summer you know let the rain hit the roots and uh, or they don't have come on and grow well this is a little uh, Angraecum uh, Didderi on a piece of wood on a mount it's the first one I've mounted and it's growing some more uh, fans at the back now well you can't call them fans do you some more plants growing at the back there but they're growing towards the wood and not coming out this way but uh, I'm going to leave it because it's doing quite nicely and if you want to do these potted always pot them up in something that uh, it's same with the other plants I've shown you the angraecums uh, always pot them up so uh, they can get a lot of air to the roots which is most essential for them as regards feeding uh, very little and often is the main thing to do with these because they like a good wetting period and a drying out period a bit like cat layers so uh, I mean if you keep them like that uh, they should be fine this is a vecchii one that I almost lost I don't know why but all the leaves started dropping off but uh, I give it a decent treatment with uh, would you believe it dragon's blood and uh, it started growing again it's put up uh, all this new growth on top since it lost the leaves at the bottom so I'm very pleased with that you see it's been out in the sun that's what happens if it gets too hot you get these scorch marks on and you're stuck with them on these plants because uh, it takes years for them to drop off and grey convecchiae again with those thick roots that uh, anchor it to the ground not many well no aerial roots on this one yet anyhow this is only a short video because i've only got one two three four four angraecums and uh, a renanthera so uh, thanks for watching and uh, until next time bye